Right now, I'm going to head back over to the lounge to hang out with a good friend of mine who we saw on stage yesterday, Jade Raymond. Jeff. Jade, good to see you. How's everything? Great. This yes. An impressive operation you have here. Only the best for you, Jade. <laughs> I'm flattered. Well, you, you guys are right next door here because yeah. EA Play is here, and you were on stage yesterday uh, announcing a lot of news about the Star Wars franchise at EA. Yeah. And you've got your studio uh, up in uh, Montreal Motive and also working with uh, the guys at Visceral. Yeah. Um, for Star Wars. So tell us, you know, when you joined EA, I know you were really, you had lots of ideas about things you wanted to do and you got excited about going to EA. And are you 100% focused on Star Wars right now? We're starting to think about the new IP, okay. but yes, mostly focused on Star Wars. I mean, Amy okay. Hennig has a big yeah. team up at Visceral, the guys who made Dead Space, working on an original Star Wars game. Yeah. Battlefront, as we announced, so most of the people at Motive are working on that, too, right. with DICE, which is yep. great. Uh, and then, obviously, all the other projects I was talking about, too. Yeah, so this video aired yesterday, and I think fans loved it, but they also had, you know, lots of questions about how all these things fit together. And I saw you put a blog post out that sort of outlined sort of a year-by-year plan of what's going to happen. So it sounds like that next year we're going to see another Battlefront, and the team in Montreal is I, people, I don't know if this is confirmed or not, people are saying maybe they're doing the campaign, or have you broken out sort of how that's being set up next year? We're not saying anything except okay. that the team at Motive is making a big new component to Battlefront. Okay. Um, so, yeah, there's a lot of speculation. Some people have it right, some people have it wrong. Okay. <laughs> Well, we never know. All right, so but that's something obviously the team in Montreal is working sort of in collaboration with DICE yeah. for the next Battlefront. Yes. So we'll see that. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, so we're excited that. And any, there's no details on sort of like where that Battlefront is set or how it fits into the world yet? It's just another Battlefront? Um, well, one of the things we're saying is that we are incorporating content from the new films. Okay. So it's going to span into, you know, Force Awakens timeline. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's exciting. So yeah. we'll have to see what uh, I'm sure E3 next year. Maybe we'll uh, we'll hear more about that. Definitely, one. you'll definitely get more info. Okay. <laughs> well, that's year. exciting. And then also we got a bit of a tease of Amy Hennig's project, which yeah. is something you know I, I'm a huge fan of Amy as a storyteller and what she did for many years at Naughty Dog. Um, you uh, you're working with her and the team at Visceral on that. So we saw kind of what seemed like. Uh, in, you know, sort of a, a quick little glimpse of the game world, I guess, or game engine. What can you tell us about that project? Well, I mean, it's great to work with Amy Hennig. I've been friends with her for years, and she really has yeah. her own approach to making games. Like, it's clearly her, her method. Um, and what's cool is she is expanding the Star Wars universe. I mean, she's been working with Lucas now for over a year, yeah. laying the groundwork for all new characters, um, you know, a brand new story yeah. um, and with a really cool player fantasy that we haven't really explored yet. So right. that's the cool thing about Star Wars is obviously, you know, you can be a soldier in Battlefront. Um, obviously, there are games that have let you, you know, be all kinds of different things. But yeah. this one is a new a new type of uh, sort of player fantasy and okay. new type of gameplay. Um, so... Yeah, is there, there was rumors at one point you might be playing a famous character from the Star Wars canon, but so this is a new character in sort of a new world? Yeah, and okay. of course it's grounded in, in the familiar, so yeah. you know, you're going to visit places that you know there are some relations to very well-known characters, okay. so it's tied in, obviously, yeah. but she's really expanding the you know, universe in new directions. And it looks like it'll be sort of a you know, third-person action-adventure game? Yes. <laughs> All right. I know it's very careful about what can and can't know, be said, but you're doing an amazing job, Jade, and we can't wait to see... Uh, how your sort of vision uh, ties in with everything Star Wars related. It sounds like we'll have lots to talk about over the years to come. Yes, absolutely. Thanks, awesome. Jeff. All right, Jade, great to see you.